There are very, very few galleries that are open their public face to the public. Tension cables, hold it down, pull it down and keep it taut. Uh, a lot of people wonder what they're there for and it's that, that sole reason to keep the roof uh, in its intended position which is on top of the building, not over there on the landscape park. Those ellipses actually form circles. The principle here was the idea of a projectile uh, bullet yeah. and the path it took as it passed through surfaces. And their view is it, it almost creates like a mosaic really. It's a very simple pin detail that's uh, secured into the back of those to hold them all in place. So it's never going to fall down, <laughs> but it is quite a, uh, a structural feat I think to achieve that. The handrail is a very interesting feature because the handrail has to be designed so that somebody with limited dexterity can use it. And they managed to achieve that and then create this nice flowing piece of oak that ran all the way upstairs with these stainless steel balusters. If you look through the glass facade there, you see one of the older churches in Middlesbrough and the industrial part of Middlesbrough side by side. Which creates, I think, a nice juxtaposition between modern MIMA, industrial past, and history of Middlesbrough. And that's what that window here is trying to create a viewing gallery or a viewing window back to the past of Middlesbrough, which is, I think, a nice gesture on the part of MIMA to recognise uh, mm -hmm. where Middlesbrough comes from. The difference in the lighting levels, this is a lot warmer here. These lighting uh, elements are called stretch fabrics, so there's a huge light source behind there. On a normal light source, you'd expect to see a much bigger shadow there, and you completely lose that. Full height doors, without any door frames, without any architraves which are visual and visible within the space. They use a very specific product on the walls. Uh, it isn't plasterboard, it's a gypsum-based product. And literally, you could have uh, half a ton supported on those walls, off the ground, on fixings directly to the wall, because that's where the product's designed. I don't think they've ever tested it out. Uh, I know they have in other galleries across the country, but they haven't yet. Alfred Walsdale was quite keen that there weren't any skirting boards or architraves within the gallery space. And the idea being that any distraction to the artwork is a distraction to the viewer. And seeing the fountain work today as it is, yes. without any guarding around it... Yeah, well, the kids playing in it. Is, yes, it is a fantastic. Now, I, th I don't know the exact number, but I think the, the fountain has something like 100,000 different configurations of how the jets can oh, be really? operated. Yes. But it's wonderful to see the fountain uh, mm. work now as it was always intended to, as a feature within the landscape. Okay, you've got it on today, really. I know, we are, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> we are.